Hi, I'm Joy Lane from sunny South Carolina with my take on the sketch for this challenge. I used the beautiful Seaside collection, perfect for my lighthouse photos. As you can see, I didn't have room for a journaling, so I created a journal box, which I've hidden right behind this photo. I'll show, show you how I did that and the border. So to start, I'm going to just demonstrate with this photo. I created my own journal box. I determined the size that will fit right behind here, and I just matted white line designer paper that I've trimmed with my deco blade to match the layout background. Now it's two layers thick, so I needed to create a little height on the back of the photo. So I've added just two layers of scraps of cardstock on three sides of the back of the photo. This creates the channel for this to slide in and out and not to get lost. Now I need a handle and a way to let someone know that there's something to interact with. I've chosen this layered embellishment. I decided to mat it with cardstock using my custom cutting system and I needed a little more stability. So I've created two circles. I want to see where I'd like this embellishment to sit on the photo. So I don't want to stick it to the photo, otherwise it will not move freely. So I'm going to just hold it there. I'd like it to overlap the photo. Flip this over. And I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to mount it. So just adhesive on about half of the circle. Match it up with the other circle. Now you can see I've already added foam squares here and that's to give it some height. But I also needed to create a small little handle that says pull on it with a little arrow. I used this cute petal punch from the piece by piece mini trio punch set and I thought the scalloped edges here matched the layered embellishment. I cut one from cardstock and one from designer paper and I'm going to sandwich that right in between the two circles. So before I stick this down I'm going to line that up and on the back of this you can see I have foam squares and that's going to allow this to give it a little bit of space. So now my photo is sandwiched right in between here and this slides in and out. So this is ready to mount onto my page. Now to create the border I just used the new rope chain border maker system. So happy to have this. I've cut five strips from five chains from the border maker cartridge. I use this designer paper. It's woven. I've already added adhesive. And all I did was take this layer and offset it to create that shadow. So I first mounted it onto the blue designer paper chain and did it on the backs of the other side and did the same with the red. So that gave it a little bit of definition and dimension and then I went ahead and ruffled the edges of this red designer paper to give it a little bit of a distressed look. And then I trimmed it off using again the deco blade to match the background size. Thanks for joining me. Have fun. Happy cropping.